Do you want some time away from your kids? Then you should enroll them in a German kindergarten. Today we're talking about kindergartens in Germany versus the US. Hi, I'm Jeff. And I'm Alex. And we're two Americans who have been living in Germany for over 10 years. And we're here to help you learn what it's like to be an American who lives in Germany. Sounds pretty fair, but first go ahead and hit subscribe down below. And if you can, buy the like button, a bottle of Canadian Club. You know, he's pregnant. Yeah. So. Happy dues. That does track. Yeah. And for those of you who do not know, I have been a kindergarten teacher for over 10 years here in Germany. So I have lots of insights, which I'm going to share with you today. Not all of them. Some of them are industry secrets. Got to keep those lips sealed. And my wife is actually also a kindergarten slash Kita teacher who works with Alex and actually in the same group. Now, yeah. we'll explain later the difference between the two terms. But today we're here to talk to you about, well, I mean... You probably have kids if you're watching this or thinking about it or maybe saw one at one point and you want to know a little bit about, you know, where you put them. What, 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 what to do with them. Yeah. And uh, I'm going to start off by, so kindergarten or kita as they're known here in Germany, uh, two different terms, same meaning more or less, but it's pretty convoluted difference. You can look it up yourself, but it really doesn't matter. Kindergarten or kita, you can say both. No one's going to get mad at you except maybe some really old school people, I don't know. Right, but, but you, when, when you or my wife tell people, they, they, it's like interchange, but she'll yeah. say, ah, I work at a kita, oh, I work at a kindergarten. It doesn't matter. Yeah, now, but I don't, obviously I don't work at a kindergarten, but yeah. having a wife who does and a good friend who does, I have learned a thing or two, and of course just living in Germany, I've learned a few things, and what I have learned is that kindergarten in the US versus Germany there definitely is a difference. Now, of course, the word kindergarten is German and, and uh, was started, I believe, by a German uh, immigrant uh, teacher who moved to the U.S. I think 1800s or so. Sounds about I right. I want to say, um, and that's where that that's why that term moved over to the U.S. But anyways, there are differences between the two, right? Yeah, oh, 100 percent. And it's a very stressful job to work in one, and that's why I like to drink. Ooh, that's better. There it is. There it is. Ooh, that's yummy. Better. Now, before we left for our little whiskey interlude, we were talking about the difference between a German kindergarten and an American kindergarten. Right. Obviously, same name, kindergarten and kindergarten, same thing. It's more Germans, kind of like with a Boston accent. Um, <laughs> and a kindergarten age child in the United States is five to six year old. And in Germany, it can be from one to six years old. And uh, philosophies are also a little bit different. I did teach in the States for a little bit kindergarten. And what I did there was a much more academic base, a lot of teaching how to read, teaching how to write, you know, going in front of board, doing cat, mat, sat, hat, you know, fat. Mm -hmm. And in Germany, I don't do that. Uh, we focus a lot more on social emotional skills, other competencies, independence. Mm -hmm. uh, we want the children to be able to be empathetic children. So when they go to school and they're becoming, you know, adults and people, uh, they have this innate, you know, brain connections and empathy. So they can grow up to be good people and not just people who know how to read earlier. Because, Jeff, I don't know if you know this, if you teach a kid how to read earlier versus when they're actually ready to read developmentally in their brain, which is around seven, eight years old, by the time they're 11, 12 years old, they're at the same level. So really what we're doing is wasting time teaching them earlier. There's no advantage to it. There's right? no advantage. Rather to focus on the problem solving and the, yeah, exactly. the, the psychological and, aspects of you it. Know, yeah. Children who grow up empathetic are better students. They're better people because they understand how other people can think and feel for other people. And that's kind of the whole goal. And it's really uh, an interesting place to work. And I, and I, and I super enjoy it. And that, that's one of the huge differences between an American and German kindergarten. I mean, as you said, in, in America, I remember... Vaguely, it was a lot of focusing on one plus one and that kind of right. that kind of deal. And also, as you mentioned, it started much later. That was one thing that really surprised me when I moved to Germany. They have people in their kindergarten, not people, I mean little people, people, in their kindergarten who are one years old, two years old, three years old. And in the in the U.S., it's much more either you stay at home until the age of five, then you go to kindergarten, or you're put in what's called preschool or at, daycare or daycare um, at the age of around three or four where it's just like, okay, here's somebody to kind of watch your child during the day as you're at work. And then starting at five, that's kind of the, when the real schooling begins uh, with the kindergarten. Yeah, exactly. So, so that's, very, um, that's very different. It's not a daycare. We're not just watching your kids and make sure they know they're not getting injured. We're doing a lot of work, a lot of uh, fine motor activities, gross motor activities, a lot of problem solving to make sure the children can talk to each other and look each other in the eye and say, I have a problem with this. And we avoid, you know, praise by saying, good job. We try to make sure the children are inherently feeling good about themselves. Yeah. 
And, and, and all of this kind of goes together, try to form just a, a good human. And then by the time they'll go to school, when they're seven years old, they'll learn how to read and write. I have children who say they want to read. So we say, cool, let's get started. And we'll do it with them. But I'm never sitting in front of the class and making them sit down and do worksheets about reading. Doing because, a lesson like that. Yeah, that's just not something I believe in personally. And luckily, Germany allows me to teach the way that I think should children should be taught. Sure. Not and, perfect. And if you, if you have lived... Uh, in Germany for uh, for a while, or you've just moved with your children and you're trying to enroll in a kindergarten or kita. One interesting thing about Germany is that kindergarten is you are guaranteed a spot in a public right. uh, kindergarten. But, now, yeah, later we'll get we'll get to the point that sometimes it's hard to f hard to find that spot. Right. But you are always guaranteed a spot. And also in Berlin, um, and I would say most of Germany. Uh, kindergarten is free of charge. You just pay for like ancillary stuff like food, uh, food and little things on the top. Activities. But in general, the spot is guaranteed and at a low to no cost to you. Right. It depends on the state and also your income as well. The more you make, you might have to pay a little bit more. But as, as far as I know, again, I work in Berlin, very different. We're not just different than the rest of Germany. Uh, I do know that I don't think you're going to be paying more than like 200 euro a month at most. At time. most, and, and for most. a lot, and for a lot of people, it will be free. Of course, it depends on the situation and which kita right. and, and which place you live. Now, there is always kind of the stress of finding a spot because, yes. as we have mentioned, spots are unfortunately currently in limited supply in Germany because there is a lack of teachers. So, what recommendations would you give to people to finding a spot into a kita? Like, how early should they be looking? <laughs> is it like before conception, or is it like what? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, if, if it's possible for conception, but I don't think that's legal. <laughs> uh, definitely as soon as possible. I would say, like, when you know you're pregnant, go around, try to find some spots because it is really competitive. But can they already, like, you haven't even given birth yet. Yeah. You, you can legally sign up yes. to uh, kindergarten? I'm, pre I'm pretty sure you can. I mean, I know, okay. I've known parents who've done that, yeah. yeah. Sometimes you're lucky, you get one. Sometimes, you know, you can go around. And I don't believe you have to go to the kindergarten in your district. I think you can go all around the city. There's all different types of kindergartens. You know, you can go to the woods. There's lots of forest kindergartens, which are really cool. Go to kindergartens in the city. Uh, bilingual kindergartens. Like, I work at a bilingual kindergarten where I speak English. Uh, Jeff's wife speaks German. Yeah, this is, this is very cool. And I think, very cool. I, I think of course, if, if you are coming from a different country, you're, you're an expat, you're from the States, you're from the UK, you're from Amsterdam, whatever, and you've come to Germany. I mean, you, you want your child to be proficient in your own language, but it's very cool that they'll also, at the same time, be learning the German language. So by the time they're out of kindergarten, they'll be basically fluent in two languages. Of course, you always wish, you know, you had that option when you were a kid. But it's, Oh, man, I'm so yeah. jealous of these kids. You know, I, I've had a children, you know, who spoke Russian and Hebrew at home, came to the kindergarten, spoke English and German. Now and it's now four there's, languages yeah, by the age of five. Right? Yeah, but yeah, at five, six years old, spoke four languages fairly fluently. I just talked to them in English. And then they just learn through immersion and uh, it works. I mean, it definitely works. Like what, what are the things day to day that you'd say are different that you do than that happen at an American kindergarten? Sure. Uh, they learn through play. Play is the best form of learning. Uh, but the thing that we do is a lot of field trips or excursions uh, all around the city. We take them on, you know, the S-Bahn, the U-Bahn. Uh, we take them, we transfer, we take them on buses. Uh, we go to theaters, we go to zoos, we go to it's ballet. Cool. Yeah. And it's it's, it's um, all the time. I mean, every, every, when my, every Tuesday, my wife comes home, I'm always like, what did you do today? Oh, we took the kids to uh, the um, this theater like halfway across town or to this park out into the woods near over here. You know? And then the kids are learning how to you know, walk around the city, how to look at a green light and a red light, how to you know uh, get on to a train, how to get off a train, where to sit. You'll be able to make your kids walk to school or get to school without your help. So oh, yeah. that'll free up some time for you. No more, I remember as a kid, like your parents always had to drive you to school, which is yeah. like one more thing your parent has to, to you know, cram in before they get to work, right? <laughs> exactly. And start their own day. So, you know, while I was here at seven, eight, you could be like, yep, yeah, go use the subway, yep. like, enjoy. Yeah, you see kids like that all the time. Another thing we're open, like kindergarten, so some kindergartens are different. Some are only open in the morning, some only in the afternoon. Uh, mine is open from 7.30 till six. Uh, which is a pretty long time. Uh, I don't recommend a child stays for that long, but the option is there for a lot of working parents. Uh, nature, we love nature. That's a big part of it. We have a little nature campus to go to, but I know a lot of kindergartens, they go to the woods all the time. Germans love nature. They love going out for hikes. And maybe one of the reasons is because starting from day one when they're a kid, they're out, they're out in the woods going on hikes, yeah. 
Uh, I think another thing is different than eating. Uh, parents don't bring their lunches. A lot of kindergartens here provide their own lunch, and the children are a lot of times uh, part of the prep to either make the lunch or to help make the snack, cutting fruits. Um, the kids eat, you know, the real fork and knife and a real plate. Uh, so they learn how to, you know, eat, you know, like uh, yeah. humans eat. <laughs> and I'm guessing the food here is maybe a little bit more nutritional than what you would uh, be getting yeah. in, the, in the U.S. school. I mean, at least my, obviously every kindergarten is different. My yeah. kindergarten, everything is organic and... Uh, nice. Yeah. Now, I got a question. If you could talk directly to any potential parents to your kita, what advice would you give them? I would say apply early, uh, oh, trust yeah. the teachers, trust the process. Uh, first day is not just drop off and leave. It's a whole process. Respect the amount of work that we do, please. And remember, there's no bad weather in Germany. There's only bad clothing. So we're going to go outside, rain, shine, thunderstorms, maybe not that much, <laughs> uh, snow. We're going out. So remember that too. And uh, just give us some better tips. Can they do that in Germany? No, you can't. No. You cannot tip. That, that is legal. It's bribery. Do not <laughs> offer your teachers any money. Uh, it's not a good look. But if you do it under the table, I'm not going to tell anyone. <laughs> and if you were to bribe Alex, you would do it maybe with a whiskey like this. You might. What are you thinking? Uh, what is this? The uh, Canadian, Canadian Club? Club? Uh, I like it. I, I like it a lot. Yeah. I like it a lot. For cheap whiskey? Not too bad. Not too bad. Not too bad. There it is. So, everyone, please uh, stay safe, stay healthy, and of course, stay thirsty. Cheers. Cheers. Oui. Hard. Today we're talking about how kindergartens in Germany are different than in the U.S. I don't like the guns. Stop the guns. <laughs> One more time. And we're here to help you, you know, learn shit. <laughs> <laughs>